Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is another haul video and I'm going to show you what I brought from Nick of Time Textiles. It's an online fabric store that I found while searching for some stretch satin. And I'm really excited to show you because I brought a indigo denim surprise box and I'm a sucker for everything surprise box. So I'll put their info in the description below and let's get to that haul. So I have the box in the chair next to me. It's a little heavy, it's also a little tall. So I went there initially for stretch satin because my mom wants to make ballet slippers and we found this like pink stretch satin as a remnant at Joanne's once and it worked great. Then we ran out and we couldn't find it again at Joanne's. So ordering online is not the most efficient because we found that some places say stretch satin and what comes is like a cotton. Doesn't make any sense to me. But so what we found there for stretch satin, well, wasn't exactly what I expected again. I mean, it said polyester st stretch satin lycra. And I was thinking, okay, if it has lycra, it's going to stretch, right? And what came is more like a sportswear. And this is also the color. I don't remember if it was really pink in the picture, if it was more coral. There wasn't much for pictures. It was kind of pixelated. But nevertheless, we can use this for shoes. They just won't be the pinkest. And it's nice. I mean, I can use this for all the doll swimsuits, so I'm not mad. So I got about a yard. Yeah, a yard of all these. Really nice. And I mean, the price of this was great compared to if you were to buy something like this at Joanne's, I'm pretty sure it was like half the price. So I, I like this. And then we also brought this in a purple. It's more of a lavender. So that's always good. I like them both. I kind of like them together. Oh, the contrast is nice. And then every time I go to an online fabric store, I have to search for camo. I love camo. So I found this stretch camo, purple stretch camo, so that's great. And it's a very different like camo pattern to me because they're, they have jagged edges and they don't have smooth, <coughs> excuse me, they don't have smooth edges. So you see it stretches more in one direction than the other. Still great for some leggings, <coughs> a little dress with some, some short leggings for the summer. I'll have to fold these later. So next is my denim surprise box. So for $35, that was their cheapest surprise box, I brought the Indigo Denim Surprise Box. And they said it has a variation of one to three yard cuts. Now for someone who does doll clothes and is used to getting remnants, which is always a yard or less, one to three yard cuts in the surprise box, it's amazing. So let me get them. So the first one I have here, I mean, I I didn't even measure them, so I can't tell you how much is here. It's probably at least a yard or two. It's tough. Not tough. It's not stretchy. It's solid. Okay, well, actually, there's a tiny bit of stretch. But it's not meant to be, like, jegging material. But it's nice. It's really nice dark indigo. I like... I do like this type of jean for distressing because there's a lot more um, pieces and that fray, easier to fray, unlike a stretch of denim where it stays together. So this would be great to make some like loose fitting jeans with rips or even some shorts with rips. Enjoy that. Plus there's a lot. You can make like jean doll carriers, hats, doll purses. All kinds of stuff, jean, and even do some more jean jackets with embroideries. Mm. Next one is a little rougher. It's almost black, really dark. It's like, it's stiffer. Still great for distressing. Probably would be a pain to make something that has a lot of, like, uh, hemming, like, thick hems or a lot of fold in it. What I'm trying to say is it would be it would become real thick to sew over if I had to like hem it, hem something, and then I had to fold it in half. Don't want to break my needles. Learn that lesson. But hey, maybe I'll be able to make a uh, trendy button front mini skirt or something. 
because this type of material is great for again distressing. It's it has no give at all. If you want to see that, no give. But got a lot of it, so that's great. Next one. Oh, this one's even stiffer than that black one. And it looks like a smaller weave. I like this gray at the edge of <laughs> my nap. But yeah, it is definitely a smaller weave. There's no give in it. So this is definitely something to maybe make a simple item out of a purse or a pair of shorts or something. But real tough. But also if you throw the whole thing or just what I cut in the wash, it would probably loosen it up, make it less stiff, distress it. I could probably these would be great for bleaching or acid washing. Possibilities are endless, right? And there's two more. I feel like they're going up in stiffness. This one is probably just as stiff. It's traditional blue. Especially it's like a dark wash. I think it was a bigger weave. You can hear that. There is no give either. It's like a true, true jean. I mean, I don't think I'd catch myself wearing something this stiff. But upholstery jean, make myself a jean stool or something. But again, great for distressing. I think these all are great for distressing. And the last piece I got is actually, I think it's. Oh, I didn't even realize. These are both the same pieces. Yeah, so they look like they have the same weave. Actually, hang on, it's a little more blue on the camera. But they're nearly the same. So as you can see, I got a lot of jeans for $35. I don't know if you were going to Joanne to buy one of those jeans. It would probably be like $15 to like $20 a yard. And here I got, what, six pieces of at least a yard each for $35. So that was a deal. They also had a bunch of other surprise boxes that, yes, they tempted me, but I did not have the kind of cash to just throw down on that. I would love to because I just love surprise boxes, see what I get. And for one to three yard cuts, I couldn't see the downside because I would get enough to make all kinds of stuff with. Like, it would pay for itself. That's the end of today's haul. So this was what I got from Nick of All Time Textiles. Gotta say really like it. I do like the quality of this stuff. I think it was this website. I wish the pictures were a little bit better. But with the pandemic, they did ship when they said they would. And this came like overnight. It's probably because it's from Pennsylvania. It's coming to Connecticut. So that was really amazing. But I'm really happy with it. And I definitely would reorder from them again if I find anything else I like. So let me know which piece was your favorite or what would you do with all this denim. <laughs> Give me some ideas, please. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.